If you want to clone an app on the Motorola Edge 60 Pro, all you have to do is go to the settings. There we go. Now over here in the settings, we're gonna scroll down and we want to go to apps. Then you should be able to find cloned apps. And over here, you should be able to find some apps that can be duplicated. If you want to clone an app, then just press this plus button on the right side and then we can press create or something like that. Sometimes you can just simply tap on this plus in order to immediately duplicate the app. And then you should be able to find the app, for example, in the app drawer. However, only some apps can be found in this setting. So if you want to duplicate an app that is not listed over here, in that case, we need to use a some sort of alternative. So for example, we can use the secure folder, which is not really used specifically for uh, duplicating apps or to clone them, uh, but it can be used so. So let's go back to the settings and over here we're going to go to security and privacy, scroll all the way down and go to more security and privacy. And then over here you should be able to find the secure folder. So let's press continue, tap on this arrow, this arrow over here and then we need to log in by using our Google account. We can use the same one as we use on our phone. And it is used because we can actually access Play Store within the secure folder. And whatever you install inside the secure folder is completely separate from everything that you have outside of it. So in this case, now we need to create a password because secure folder is mostly used to store um, apps um, that are locked behind the password, uh, since it is a locked private um, environment or something like that. So I'm gonna set up a simple password. There you go. Let's just enter the password and confirm it. We can also use fingerprint sensor in order to quickly open the secure folder. So I'm just going to press setup and I'm going to actually activate it. So you can do that if you actually use fingerprint sensor on your phone. And there we go. Now over here, once we have the secure folder set up, we can press this plus button in the bottom right corner, choose add apps, and you should be able to find the list of apps that you have already on your phone. So this is how we can clone an app. You can simply choose any app that you wish to duplicate. So let's say I'm going to choose TikTok in this case, and maybe this game over here. Keep in mind that, of course, all the data that we have in general on our phone in these apps will not be accessible in this secure folder because like I mentioned, this is a separate space. So you will have to uh, sign in and um, go through configurations and settings and so on and so forth, if necessary, of course. Um, but since we are duplicating it, I suppose it is, for example, for um, a reason why you want to duplicate it is to use different accounts or different uh, settings and so on. So. And this probably is not an issue. Over here we can also swipe to the right in order to open some additional options that you might need in the future. And over here in the top right corner we have a Play Store that allows us to install apps in the secure folder. So now as you can see we have TikTok over here and this game. And if I go to the home screen I also have the game and TikTok as well. So as you can see these apps have been cloned and they contain um, separate data. In order to find the secure folder, you can by default find it in the app drawer over here. In my case, it is here. You can also change the look and name of the app in the um, in the app drawer. And if you go back after some time into the secure folder, you might see this information that we have duplicated apps found. And of course, that is fine since this is what this was our intention. So we don't have to install. We can just select and show this again and then choose maybe later. And there we go. Now it should be gone. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe.